I won't lie, Assassin's Creed has never really been the biggest in the modding scene. You had that Unity Parkour Fix mod, which kind of added a few things. You also had that Mirage Eject mod that came out. That wasn't too bad as well, until the developers just updated the game and fixed it themselves. And when it comes to that gameplay style mods, there's never really been a heavy one of those. Obviously they have been, and I will go back on that because I'm going to go back to the Mirage mod. I think in the recent update, they added manual swinging. That, that is a good improvement. Anyway, let's get to the point of this video. So starting from AC3, they added this feature called vaulting. Where if you ran at an object that was about leg height or about waist height, and you hold B or A, you can swiftly vault over it. And that was from AC3. But... <coughs> My voice is just fucking up during this whole video, my bad. But this feature was actually implemented in AC1, as a lot of you know, and was removed onwards. Now, how it was performed in AC1 was you had to be basically standing on a non-standing object, which is any object where you're not standing straight up, right? So like a beam, you're standing like you're kind of crouched. Even like when you're climbing up a wall for a second, you'll be crouched there so you can use that as a non-standing object as well as you're climbing up the wall you can vault over the next thing in front of you and as you jump as you land if there's an object in front of you you'll be able to vault over it and in the way that it was performed also which is why a lot of people just never knew about it and didn't find out about it until a decade later or probably longer than a decade is because you had to perform this move by holding the b button so that's like catch ledge for example as you're holding the A button. But I actually found out that you don't actually have to hold the A button with B all the time. Only when you're jumping to a beam. So if you're jumping to a beam, then you hold A with B. But if you're just going to vault over the thing that's in front of you, for example, <coughs> chest is attacking me again. There's a parkour start at the side of the road and you want to jump up the first thing, but you want to vault over the second thing. You don't have to hold A and B. You can just hold B after that. So that is what I think the intention was. They wanted to implement it smoothly like that, where you just parkour up and then hold B as you get to the next thing. I bet they did intend to remove it because, I mean, it was completely removed by AC2, but I'll, I'll do more research on that. So there's a dog in the background that's barking endlessly. Anyway, I need to give a huge shout out to Animus Drift Dog. Not only does this guy upload the sickest parkour sequences in Assassin's Creed, but he also commented on my last Assassin's Creed video and didn't seem to mind that I used the gameplay, so thanks for that, bro. But he also recommended this vlog. He stripper. also brought up this vlog that, that it doesn't seem a lot of people know of. Although I could be wrong and the whole Assassin's Creed fanbase knows of it. But, you know, hopefully this video spreads it out to more people as well. I first saw it in his comment from my last video. So thanks for recommending that, bro. I had to make a video on it. You know what it is. But also thanks for being cool about letting me use your gameplay. Appreciate you, bro. Now with all that context out of the way... Let's get to the actual point of this video. So there's a mod that recently came out for AC1 and AC2 that introduces manual vaulting. You can vault whenever you want, wherever you want. And the guy that made this uh, mod, his name is Random oh, OG. He, oh, he really did God's work here. I, I, I can't lie. This is one of the best things that's ever happened. <laughs> Probably in my life. You know, I'm parkouring in AC1 anyway. Fuck, I'll just use this mod with it. So you can manually vault whenever, wherever, right? But you can also, this mod also introduces swinging down and swinging up. So if there's a beam in front of you from where you're swinging from, but there's like a higher beam above that, you can choose to swing onto that higher beam instead, or you can choose to swing onto ground level. So I'm going to describe to you how cool this actually is. So before you would only be able to jump onto this table, there's almost no way that you'd be able to vault over this table because the conditions around the object just aren't it just aren't met for you to vault and it would look slick though it would look slick to vault over this table you know it would look slick but the game's contextual framework just doesn't allow for it but let's check this mod out yep i know you saw that i know you saw that that stutter as well <laughs> but yeah that's my point this mod introduces manual vaulting, dog. I don't cheat, dog. You can vault over any. You can vault over that pot over there. You can vault over that guy over there. Pause. You could vault over that beam. You could vault over that other beam. So now I want to show you the parkour up and down swing states or swing directions that you can go. You can go up, down, or just parkour neutral. And you can map it to your controller. If you want my controller mappings, leave your comments down below. I'll give you uh, my mappings that I use. It's not that complicated to set up the mod. I guess the only complicated thing is, is cheat engine, which... Definitely do it the legit way. Do not download anything off any website. 
definitely get the source code for cheat engine and then go from there because yeah you will be downloading some shit I actually haven't tried the eject down. I should try that shit. Oh, I really haven't. It looks cool. But that's going to be this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been wanting to make this one for a while. But, you know, life. And I've just been parkouring in Assassin's Creed. So, but anyway, on the last Assassin's Creed video, it is literally my most watched one. That, that shit's crazy. It's the most liked video. It's the most watched one. It's the most engaged with one. I mean, the like ratio is, is insane to see. Everyone just you know, really had positive things to say about that video. And just in general, all the positive comments I've been getting has really been motivating. It's it's just really nice. It's really inspiring. You guys are awesome. Just know I appreciate you. Expect more. Tell me what you want me to check out down below. If there's anything you want me to see, I'm interested in all different types of shit. So leave your comments down below. Leave your opinions on this video. Try out that Assassin's Creed vaulting mod. It, it comes with all sorts of features. It comes with all sorts of shit. This, this, this ain't sponsored, but I just love it so much. I use it every time I load up the game. And you should too. Well, if you're on the PC version. But yeah, that's that. Have a good rest of your day. Yo, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.